What is up YouTube? Today I'm going to be reviewing two fragrances. I've done that plenty of times on this channel, but um, here we have the first review. English Laundry's Throne. Um, I've only seen that like literally three people have reviewed this, me being the third. So um, yeah, hasn't gotten a lot of coverage and we'll see if it's worth it, if it's a hidden gem or whatnot. And uh, the next fragrance I'm gonna review is Clean Classic, Simply Clean. They had other versions from this line. Um, I wanted to try Rain out. That sounded like it could be an interesting scent. Um, but I picked this one up because I looked at the notes and I uh, thought I would like it. But as I bought it, um, it gave me a little description sticker in the uh, package when I uh, opened this thing. And it said women's on it. So um, hopefully this could pass as unisex. I did look at the notes and they did seem pretty masculine as well. I also looked at the notes in this and I thought these would this would be nice too. Um, but again, these are scents that not a lot of people have covered, so we're about to see here. All right, so this first one kind of opens up like a book, comes with like a little salt packet, not a salt packet, um, a little per preservative packet, I guess you could call it, uh, silica gel, yeah, I'm not sure why that's in there, um, but yeah, okay, comes with a nice looking box here, they got their logo, kind of looks like a police badge of some sort, that's pretty cool, and it kind of just opens and closes, that's cool, I think it's magnetic too, so it doesn't open again that's cool but this is the bottle it is pretty thin on the side i do like how it goes from a black to a navy blue has a matte finish very nice as you can see they have their logo in silver everything kind of just pops the only critique i would have to say is probably the cap you know it's a cheap plastic one as you can see yeah this thing is cheap as all hell but uh, can't smell anything off of the sprayer. So let's see what we get here. Now, uh, this is an eau de toilette, by the way. Okay. Mmm. Damn, okay. Now, honestly, from the first spray, you know, let me just do another one to make sure. It could be the atomizer itself. Um, but it feels like there's a very light mist being sprayed from this. So much so that it almost kind of messes with the performance of the scent itself. Because this isn't really in my mind, going to be one of those scents that lasts. This is going to be a two to three hour, if lucky, type of cologne here. As far as scent goes, it smells very great. Um, it just isn't really pushing off of my skin too much. So for that reason, I'm probably going to have to give this... I mean, it smells good, but... I'll probably have to give it a 6 out of 10. I mean, this is very airy in a way. It's kind of ozonic, if you will. It has a lightness to the, to the whole scent itself. Not bad. Not bad. You know, it's a typical fresh, clean scent. You know, there is a little bit of a lavender note in here. They said it was blue lavender. I'm not really sure what the difference is in smell. But, uh, yeah. 
this does smell good and um like i say maybe i just need to start getting a couple sprays out of this thing and it'll start to smell better over time either that or what i would suggest you do if you if you buy this um just spray a lot of it on yourself now i did see that a couple people were kind of comparing this a little bit to invictus <clears throat> because of the sweetness that it has um I'm not really, you know, it's just a normal sweetness for me. It's not really Invictus sweet. Um, yeah, this one's okay. It's okay. Now we're going to get on to Clean Classic. Let me uh, open this up a little better. So, yeah, like I say, I did say uh women's on here not on the, not in the description when i bought it but on that little sticker so it's just a two ounce bottle here clean classic we're gonna see what their simply clean smells like and again i can't smell any <clears throat> can't smell anything off of this so it's gonna be a fair comparison Okay, way better atomizer, way better atomizer. Uh, huh. Okay. Now, I can see what they were doing here. Genuinely, I can. I can see what they were doing here. But it's like a very floral soap smell this is a very soapy floral smell very clean um kind of like a cleaning product if you will hmm yeah it's powdery soapy floral hmm this is not at all how I thought it would smell because I did look up the notes and um, said there was going to be a lot of things in it. Um, I'll actually show you the the note breakdown. Yeah, honestly, truly, I did not get pretty much any of those notes that they listed. Yeah, uh, that's a little disappointing for me. Yeah, honestly. I do like this better, but I'm going to give both of these a 6 out of 10. Um, both of them could have been better. Could have been, you know, but they were still pretty good, you know? Not really um, ones that I'm going to grab for, but um, yeah, both of them get a 6 out of 10 for me. But uh, I don't know, man. Let me know what you guys think. Personally, I wouldn't really suggest buying any of these. Um, yeah, it does have um, a sweetness to it. For sure. And I can see, you know, why some people were saying it has an Invictus-like sweetness. But for me... It's it's not that sweet. It's not that bubblegummy sweet, but you know. It's like a few levels down from that. But uh I don't know, maybe my scent right now is not as good as it could be cuz I'm sick. But I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.